Hi, so this is A Level Mathematics Code 9709 Winter 20 Question Paper 4 Vivian 3 and this is the last question, question number 7 of this paper. It says that in the diagram the particle A and B are of masses 2 kg and 3 kg respectively are attached to the ends of a light inextensible string. The string passes over a small fixed pulley which is attached to the top of the two inclined planes. Particle A is on plane B and particle B is on plane Q which is inclined at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. The string is taut and the two parts of the string are parallel to the lines of the greater slope of their respective planes. Part A says it is given that plane P is smooth, plane, plan, plane Q is rough and the particles are in limiting equilibrium find mu between particle B and Q. So as uh, it can be seen that surface A is smooth and it is in limiting equilibrium. So if it is in limiting equilibrium then this tension T and this weight component this component or this component will be the same so we can write that t equals w a sine of 10 so t can be written as w a is 2 kg so we can write it as 2 into 10 is 20 sine of 10 and t becomes 3.47 newtons so we have found the value of t, the value of t which will be the same for the whole system. So we can draw uh, the same force diagram for particle B as it's on a rough surface. So we are including tension, the weight because of uh, the 3 kg weight and we will be also including the frictional force. As we have included the frictional force, we will also include the reaction force and which will be equal to this weight component uh, WB cos 20. So seeing all the components along the plane, we can see that tension plus frictional force equals WB sine 20. Which can further be written as the tension we have found was 3.47 and the friction force we don't know and WB is 3 kg so this could be written as 30 sine of 20 so the frictional force becomes equal to 30 sine of 20 minus 3.47 which is equals to 6.79 now frictional force as we all know is equals to mu into r which equals 6.79 and the reaction force is equals to wb cos 20 wb is 30 so 30 cos of 20 is my reaction force so what i can say is that our coefficient of friction between particle B and Q is mu is 6.79 divided by the reaction force which is 30 cos of 20 which equals 0.241 so hence we have calculated the coefficient of friction between particle B and Q now let's move to the next part of the question in this question it says that now the both planes are smooth and we do not have a limiting equilibrium over here and both particles are released from the same level we have to find the difference when the difference between both of the vertical heights is one meter let's first see particle a for particle a this tension because it's moving in this direction because 3 kg is heavier so it will be moving in this direction so T tension minus 20 sine of 10 equals MA M is 2 kg so 2A so 
टू बिकम्स टू ए प्लस थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेवन दैट्स अवर इक्वेशन फ्रॉम पार्टिकल ए सो कंसिडरिंग पार्टिकल बी वी कैन सी दैट ओवर हियर द वेट कंपोनेंट विल बी डब्ल्यू बी साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी माइनस द टेंशन which will be equals to ma the mass is 3 into the acceleration which will be a so from here we can see that w b sin 20 as we have already calculated as 3 10.26 minus the value of t is 3a plus 2a plus 3.47 is equals to 3a now solving for a we get 1.358 meters per second square so this is our value of acceleration with uh, now with this acceleration the particles both of the particles which are connected together are moving now our next step is to find the time when the difference between the heights is 1 meter so we need an expression for height or distance So in order to find distance it would be easier for us first to find the expression for velocity. So so we have segregated VA uh, particle A and particle B into their velocities and we can see that the velocity for VA is upwards because it is moving upward and for the vel velocity VB is downwards. It is the vertical components of their velocities 20 degrees and 10 degrees respectively now a suitable suvart equation for us is v equals u plus at where u initial velocity is zero as it's men mentioned in the question so uh, we have used the equation v is equals to u plus at u is zero so v is equals to at so v for va we know that for at acceleration we have already found is 1.358 and the horizontal component is sin of 10 and t can be multiplied so va the expression for va becomes va equals 0.2358t so similarly for bb we can use the same but over here the direction is downwards so we will be using a negative sign here so vb is acceleration is negative 1.358 sin of 20t because the angle is 20 as seen here so vb is negative 0.4645t now what we can do is reach to distance the height by simple integration so we can use ha minus hb equals 1 and we can integrate the expression we found va integral of va minus integral of vb equals to 1 and then we can solve it to find the value of t so we have used expression integral of va minus vb we have found the, these both expressions uh, 0.2358t This, there was a negative sign here, so negative multiplied by negative becomes positive. So this becomes 0.4645t equals one. The simple integration t square by two. We have divided this by two. This would become 1.1178, and we have also divided this t square by two. So this also divided by two is 0.23. So t square gets added up. So this will become t square equals 2.8558. we are ignoring the negative time because that cannot exist we are just taking the positive t which is 1.69 seconds so our answer is that for a time difference of 1.69 seconds the difference between heights is 1 meter so this ends our question number 7 and ends our paper of winter 20 qp 43 do like and subscribe my channel for for more videos thank you